going on guys? My name is Matter MC Sports Talk and welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. Today I got something special for you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to record your iPod, iPad, or iPhone with Clash of Clans. So I'm going to show you guys how today to record Clash of Clans or really any app you want to play on your iPhone, iPad, um, any really iOS device or even Android. Uh, I know some of these will work for Android depending on what kind of Android you have. But uh, from primarily iOS users, this is the video for you guys. This is going to show you guys how to uh, record multiple different ways. You can choose any of the ways you want. Some cost more than others, I will say that. But there is a free option and that's probably the best option for everybody. Easiest option to do. That's at the very end of the video, so stay tuned to that. But I'm going to show you guys a couple different ways to do it just in case you are people who already record gameplay. Uh, for my guys who watch zombies, my people that are subscribed to me already um, if you guys watch if you guys play zombies call of duty anything like that if you have an elgato that's one of the main ways you can do it actually people are surprised you can use an elgato record your phone or your ipad and i'll get into that in a second here but i'm gonna start my video like i do for all my new videos i start and end my videos with a subscriber raid if you guys want to send in your raids to me go ahead and send them in this is one sent in by eric from itroopers he's a good friend of mine and you can see right here that he's got a town hall 10 this is in a war but go ahead and send in your uh either base review or hawk raids all that information in the link below and I'll tell you guys more about that at the end of the video but for right now I want to show you guys his raid so Eric is in fact attacking and he's attacking a basically maxed out Town Hall 10 I'm gonna freeze it real quick here for a second I believe I freezed it just to show you guys what he's attacking with he's going with the uh, go let's see he's got Pekka's witches and wizards so the go wee wee attack um, and the golems obviously but he uses some Pekka's in there too so uh, he's, he's attacking on the left side this guy the Town Hall 10 on defense is basically maxed out all of his defense structures are maxed out except for his walls he's got level 9 walls I believe it was level 9 yeah I think so level 9 walls and a couple level 8 walls on the very outside but for the most part it's maxed out you can see here he's got 40 uh, level 40 heroes and he goes right up the gut from the left side those jump spells were absolutely perfectly placed almost all of his troops jumped right over all the walls the walls are completely ineffective in this raid um, most of the walls in fact aren't even broken through only, only I think believe only that one wall right there was really the most uh, important wall that had to be broken through other other than that that jump spell lifted all of his troops right in the middle there, took out the town hall, no problem. He's working on a two-star right now, and it looks like the raid is almost over. But this is the power of the go wee, -wee especially the witches, uh, and, and maybe wizards too. The wizards do a good, a good amount of work in this uh, this attack as well. But the witches really are what keep this raid going. You can see the heroes uh, are going to die out here in a second. But the witches continued the raid because of all the little, I don't even know what you want to call them, I forget what they're called. Those little skull things that he spawns, uh, that she spawns. Um, they keep the raid alive because the defenses are always working on the skulls that are re re respawning constantly. And instead, the other troops, like those three archers that are left, and the witch itself can go ahead and continue to attack the defense structure until they're gone. So those witches actually save this raid. And uh, if you want to send in your raids, send them to mcsportsalk at gmail.com. I will be posting up uh, one or two raids every single video for Clash of Clans. You guys can be featured on my channel. And make sure you subscribe so you can see your replay. So if you're subscribed, you'll be able to see other videos and you'll make sure you see your replay and don't miss a single episode. So other than that, guys, he had an awesome raid. Big shout out to Eric for the first one. Really, really well done. 100% of the entire base uh, on almost the max out Town Hall 10, which is pretty, pretty hard to do, I gotta say. So to start off the video here, I'm gonna show you guys uh, the first possible way to do it, and that's using an Elgato and an adapter. Now, if you have a newer generation iPhone, you use a Lightning adapter to HDMI. You can buy that off Apple's website for $50, and that's expensive, I know. And Elgato runs you, I don't even know what they cost now, maybe $120, $100. So if you already have an Elgato, this will might be an effective way for you, but you have to buy the adapter, which is usually, uh, the one I had to buy was $50. It's Lightning to HDMI. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys go and check that out if you want to actually see the link to where to get it from but you can get knockoff ones on Amazon and stuff like that for maybe 10 bucks uh, but I would I would advise buying a legitimate one because they will always work and if they don't work Apple will refund it but the knockoff ones will probably break a little quicker but you can choose the cheaper option if you want to basically what you do is you use an HDMI you connect your uh, phone to an HDMI HDMI into the Elgato Elgato to your computer that's the most complex and the most expensive way and I started off with that one only because a lot of the gameplay I use now I actually use Elgato and for stream I use Elgato it works it's pretty simple uh, uh, it's not my favorite way, but it, it's always consistent. You don't have to worry about connecting issues or uh, saving the file. It always works. Elgato is consistent. The number one way that I usually use is this app called Reflector. You can see right here, I'm actually screen capping my screen to show you guys. Uh, the Reflector is an app that you can use with Mac, and it works with AirPlay. So all of your iOS devices will work with this. Um, and you can actually use it on Windows as well. So you can have Windows or Mac operating system. And as long as you have AirPlay using your uh, wireless device, uh, you can go in the description below and get that as well. It's called Reflector app. Um, it's $12 to buy it, and you 
can use it on any computer you want. Uh, I would advise you guys to buy it. I have bought it and it is definitely worth it. Here is the gameplay with it, just so you guys so you can see the uh, quality of the actual footage uh, recording with Reflector. And Reflector works very well, very well, I can't speak, sorry. It works very well. I've used it for many, many of my Clash of Clans videos. Almost all of my app videos use Reflector uh, in the past couple months. And I must say that it's much more convenient than the Elgato. It's also cheaper. $12, you got it forever. Uh, and it streams to your computer, which you can also use to record. You can record with Reflector. It's got its own built-in recording, which the uh, HDMI connection does not have. You need the Elgato for that recording. Uh, so the Reflector records it itself. And uh, it's got a lot of cool little built-in features to the actual app for $12. So that's probably the best option, in my opinion, if you want to pay. Now the last way is the free way and a lot of you guys are going to obviously opt out for the free way. Now I must say although it's free it's not as secure I'll go with and it's not as uh, you know it's, it's not as consistent. It's a little glitchy. So if you go to the website emo uh, for iOS.net you can see that you can install um, applications. You can install basically the uh, iOS store. Um, this is the guy that does the jailbreaking but this is actually for non jailbroken phones. So if you guys have a non jailbroken phone which most people do uh, you don't need to have your phone jailbroken to do this. So you download that app, and that's where it's a little sketchy. You have to, you have to trust the developer, and I'm not so sure that these guys are completely, uh, you know, bug-free. So they might give you some spam, but I have no clue. Uh, so far, I haven't had any problems, but I can't promise anything because it's free and it's uh, un, you know, it's un protected uh, developer. So you go in there, you download that, and once you have that, you can use this iRecord beta. It is a beta mode right now, which is why I say the other modes are probably paying. Paying for it is probably a better idea right now if you want consistency, but uh, you can see right here that I tried to actually download the iRecord and it didn't work. I tried several times, I tried different things, I tried switching my settings to make it work, and didn't work. So that may happen for you. I know a lot of people that it works for, but I'm showing you guys right here, it didn't work for me. So if it doesn't work for you, luckily it's not the end of the world because there's another one called Shoe on here. And this one's really cool. It's the same thing. You can record your screen on any device or you can even stream your uh, phone device to like uh, a browser. Uh, using the, the shoe website, so it's kind of like reflector in the fact that you can stream it I don't know how good the streaming is to be honest with you But I'm gonna show you guys right here in a second that the quality of the shoe uh, For you have to make an account which is free. I haven't any problems with that either. Just want to throw that in there um, But the pro the the shoe recording is also pretty good. There is no lag uh, whatsoever uh, that records the audio pretty well You can actually record your uh, use your microphone on your phone to record your own voice so If you want to do a commentary live you can do all this with just your phone or your iPad you you can allow it to use your microphone, you can just talk to your iPad while you play, and you can record a video that way, saves it right on your phone, and then you can upload it right to YouTube from there, which is really cool. That's an awesome feature, and it's all for free. Uh, I don't know how the iRecord works, I'm assuming it works a similar way, or just record your screen and maybe doesn't stream it, but uh, Shoe definitely works, it's free, and you can go ahead and get it for free, links in the description below. You guys saw how I did it right there. So that's all the different ways you can get it. And before I leave, as I said before, I want to show you guys one more Hawk Raid. That's what I'm calling them, Viewer Submitted Hawk Raids. So if you guys want to send me in your raid, definitely go ahead to the description below, email it to me, and uh, that will be that. I will feature you some of your raids on here, and make sure you subscribe so you can see them. I want to show you guys this. Rishi is the first one who sent me in his raid, and he, he, he freaking lucked out, man. Town Hall 7, 800k loot available. He had the right troops for it. He was rocking... Uh, so very similar uh, composition to what I usually rock right now. The Giants, some Wall Breakers, and then the rest split between Gobs, Barbs, and Archers. Um, and it, it seems to work pretty well if you just use the, you know, the guard, uh, the Barge strategy. Well, it's a bit, switch between Garch and Barge. Uh, put the Giants in first, and uh, use some heal spells on those guys. Let them do most of the work while the, uh, while you put in your Barbs and then Archers on the outside. And then once you have a clear opening to your, um, Resources and storages you put the gobs and they go ham on those so you can get a lot a lot of a uh, uh, Loot out of this strategy without having to do uh, Having to waste too much uh, elixir to build the troops so you can see right here this guy uh, Rishi he almost gets all the loot for the most part he gets actually I, I'm he, I might be wrong He might get all the loot. I don't even know but he got a ton of loot pulls off an 800k raid Make sure you send your raid in to mcsportstrack at gmail.com and subscribe for more Clash of Clans content. It gets all of it there. More than 800k, 5 Dark Elixir, but who cares? 3 star, that's where we're going to end it this week, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.